Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to install an agitator repair kit on your washer. Really easy job. All we're going to need is a 716 socket, an extension, and a ratchet. And we should also have some dual action agitator grease. Let me show you how to do it. The first step with this repair, as with any major appliances, we should disconnect the power supply. Simply pull the cord. And we need to get the agitator out of the washer to do this repair. Now, most of these models will have some type of fabric softener cup on the top of the agitator. You just simply grab hold of that and pull it off. Next, we need to remove the inner cap and seal. It's a clear plastic device located just down inside the dual action agitator. Just reach down in there and pop it out. The seal may or may not come out with it. Next, we're going to take our ratchet with our 716 socket. Locate the bolt in the center. Grab the base of the agitator, keep it from turning. Completely loosen that bolt. We have the bolt completely loosened. Just reach down and pull the agitator free of the base. Close our lid. The bolt completely removed. We should be able to pull gently up on this top portion of the agitator to separate it from the base. If it doesn't come off easily, you can set that on the floor and just put your feet on it to hold it down and pull up on the top. That exposes our thrust spacer. Simply remove this and discard. You should clean this portion of the agitator just in case there's any old soap scum on there. So we'll clean that up and we'll apply our dual action agitator grease a little bit around the top portion of it here. You'll also note located inside there's a couple of tabs here. Those are for factory use only, so you can break those off because they will get in the way when you go to reinstall the top portion of the agitator. We we'll take our new spacer, and you'll notice there's two slots on it. Line those up to two slots on the barrel of the agitator. Apply a liberal amount of the dual action agitator grease to that bearing surface. Now, the second half of this repair be to drop the cam out of the agitator barrel, just tilt it upside down and it'll fall out. These are the dogs that actually allow the dual action agitator to operate in only one direction. So we can discard that piece. We'll take our new cam, install the dogs in the little slots as such. We'll take our bearing and you'll note on this bearing, there's four little rounded tabs that will line up with four grooves on the side of the cam. Press it firmly down into place. That keeps the dogs from falling off. We're gonna discard original agitator bolt, and replace it with a new one. Now we're ready to drop this into place inside our agitator barrel. Install the top to the base. We'll take our new bolt, put it on our ratchet, tilt the whole edge shader upside down, line up that bolt with the hole. Now we're ready to put it back in the washer. Now the agitator is ready to install. We'll center it over the agitator shaft. Let it seat firmly. And we'll tighten up that 7 16 bolt. Now the top.
top portion of this agitator should turn clockwise, but not counterclockwise. So everything's working good there. Now to put our cap back on, we should clean up that groove that the O-ring sits in. Install our new O-ring. Helps to put a little bit of liquid dish detergent on that before you slide it into the agitator barrel. It will snap in a lot easier. Lower it down into place, compress it in, make sure the gasket stayed in place. Put our fabric softener dispenser back in, and our repair is complete. That's just how easy it is to put an agitator repair kit on your washer. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.